If you are struggling with gut issues, symptoms on a daily basis like bloating or gas, diarrhea or constipation, then this video is something you'll want to listen to today. I am going to talk about gut healing supplements and give you five great ones to begin with. My name is Marcy Vasky and I am a functional nutritionist working with Fluso Nutrients. At Fluso Nutrients, we want to educate you on different types of supplements that are going to be helpful in relieving symptoms or just optimizing your health. Now, one key factor to keep in mind is that if you're thinking about taking any of the supplements that we talk about today, make sure that you are educated on it, so you will be after today, but also if you have questions, ask a supplement literate practitioner, making sure that it's not interacting with any of your medications as well as supplement, supplements you may already be taking. So as I said, I'm going to talk about five different gut health supplements. Now we know that the gut is extremely important to our overall health. If our gut microbiome is imbalanced, we oftentimes have symptoms of you know, gas or bloating, abdominal cramping, but it can also affect our moods, which can increase our anxiety or maybe you struggle with depression. It can also weaken our immune system because we know that 80% of our immune system is harbored in our digestive system. So having a healthy gut is gonna be critical. So some of these supplements can get you to feeling much better and having a healthier body overall. Now, as I mentioned, symptoms of digestive upset are gas, bloating, constipation, diarrhea. What it comes out of many times is gonna be a, a syndrome called leaky gut syndrome. And leaky gut is if the, the tight junctions in our intestinal tract become really inflamed. When they're inflamed, then they're a little, they're more porous, where it lets in toxins from our intestinal tract into our bloodstream. When that happens, it creates all sorts of havoc, all sorts of symptoms, and so with some of the supplements I'll talk about today, few of them will be really helpful for that. Not only will we be talking about the lower GI, but also upper GI. So if you struggle with heartburn or acid reflux or GERD um, and really cannot get it under control or just feeling like you're always bloated and have a stomach ache, then I'm going to give you some options for that today as well. Now, one thing to remember as I go through some of these supplements today is that, I, and I always say this, is that you can't out supplement a bad diet. So supplements are amazing. They can be really helpful and therapeutic, but when you're supplementing, you want to make sure that you're also feeding yourself well. So keeping in enough healthy whole foods like proteins and the healthy carbs and the vegetables and fruits as well as healthy fats, that's gonna get you to, to your goal. If you don't change your diet at all and you just supplement, you're gonna have a lot less effect and you might still struggle with the same symptoms. So I always talk about food first, but those supplements that I'm gonna talk about today will get you to the next step more quickly with putting those two things together. All right, so let's, let's go through the top five that are my favorite gut health supplements. Number one is GI Revive. GI Revive is, comes in capsule form as well as powder form, but if you have a lot of gut symptoms, you're gonna wanna do the powdered because with the capsules, you have to take many and capsules are always harder to break down. So anytime I can do anything in powdered form for improving gut health, that's what I wanna use. So GI Revive is a great one to help heal the mucosal lining of our intestinal tract as well as reduce inflammation in those tight junctions. It has full of L-glutamine, zinc carnosine, which I love, they're great tissue healing uh, products. And then it has some herbs in it. So it has like cat's claw, marshmallow root, some DGL. Um, and these things help to support that mucosal lining. So it reduces inflammation and improves the uh, mucosal lining. Then you have a better environment to, for healthier bacteria. Now with GI Revive, I often just recommend taking one scoop per day in water. 
Now the next supplement that I really like is a digestive complete. And what this one is, is actually a digestive enzyme. So if you're struggling with feeling full too fast after a meal or kind of upper GI bloat, or maybe you have some acid reflux happening, then a digestive enzyme is gonna be the ticket. So digestive enzymes are gonna be, in, what they do is they help to actually break down your food. So there are certain enzymes that we need to break down our carbohydrates. For example, that's amylase breaks down our carbs, then we have protease and pepsin that help to break down our proteins. We have lipase to help break down our fats in addition to several other kinds of enzymes. And so with the, the support of a digestive enzyme, that's gonna help you break down the food and digest it better into your, and metabolize it better in your small intestine. So I love digestive enzymes and they're not something that you have to take for the rest of your life. No supplement is, I'll, I'll just say that. But if you feel like you need them, the best way to take a digestive enzyme will be to do it, um, take the capsule, one or two capsules, 10 to 15 minutes before you eat a meal. And that way you take the enzyme, it starts to activate the hydrochloric acid in our stomach, gets the enzymes kind of awakened, and then you go ahead and eat your meal. And oftentimes you have a lot less symptoms than you've had prior to not taking the digestive enzyme. So I love them, they're awesome. Now, number three on the list is gonna be ultrabiotic daily, a probiotic. And we've done lots of videos on probiotics, um, but obviously, if you have a, a gut microbiome that isn't very well diversified, it can, doing a, just a daily, easy probiotic can really be helpful. Now, sometimes it depends on the symptoms that you're having, will depend on the form of probiotic you want, but just for general use, doing something super simple like this ultrabiotic daily, which has a bifidobacterium and lactobacillus in it. Those two strains or families of bacteria are the most populated in our digestive system. So doing one capsule 10 to 15 minutes before your morning or before breakfast in the morning um, is a great place to start. Uh, probiotics can be very helpful. Sometimes people have a little symptom if they start too fast on a probiotic. So if you're taking after three days or four days, you kind of feel a little bloated or gassy, you can always switch it to every other day. Uh, what's happening is that some of the uh, opportunistic flora are getting um, pushed out with the good bimpy and the good flora is taking its place. So sometimes we feel that. Now, number four on the list is GI Restore. So slightly different from the GI Revive that I talked about as, as the number, as what well, was my number one a supplement. Um, but GI Restore, what that's gonna be most helpful for will also be leaky gut, but also for just gut inflammation too. And it has high amounts of B vitamins to help support our metabolic activity. It also is high in iodine and selenium. So it's slightly different than the GI Revive because it's a little bit more robust. Um, it also has um, and the reason those are in there is if we have a lot of gut inflammation and you, one of your symptoms is feeling fatigued or you just have kind of a metabolism that you feel like is really slowed down, those key things can be really supportive because they help our thyroid. And so in addition to many different vitamins and minerals in GI Restore, it also has about, I think it's 12 grams of protein. And that can be, you know, we're always trying to work in more protein in our diet. And the key reason why is because protein is very healing. Protein breaks down into amino acids and we know that amino acids are our building blocks. And so using GI Restore is just what it, it's kind of what's in the name, meaning that it restores health. It restores growth of good tissue, it restores a healthy thyroid. And, and so using that can be really helpful. Now, if you choose to do so, I would recommend one scoop a day would be what you would need. And a lot of times you can make this into almost a protein smoothie um, and using that or just put it, mixing it in water and drinking it down. Now, number five on my list is Dophilus powder. 
And Dophilus powder is a form of probiotic, which is a lactose bacillus acidophilus. Now, I love Dophilus powder, especially for people who are struggling with upper GI symptoms. Uh, we have an abundance of, of acidophilus in our stomach and in our esophagus. And so sometimes if we've had acid reflux, GER, gastritis, all of that happening, then that will say that, well, that the probiotic in there or the flora in there is probably much reduced. And so by increasing the amount of acidophilus in our stomach, that will also help support our um, acid production in our stomach, meaning our hydrochloric acid. And so easy peasy to put in. A lot of times I will just recommend people take one teaspoon, mix it in your water, like in a, your morning water, and just drink it throughout the morning. Or you can put it just in a little bit of water and just shoot it back. But it can be super helpful. I love Dophilus powder. And so those are my five favorite gut health um, supplements. I think that they all provide a lot of support for our entire digestive system. And it really just comes down to what are your symptoms and that will lead you to what supplement would be best for you. Now, as I talked about before all the supplements, I just mentioned, make sure you change your diet. I mean, we've got to get out some of the processed foods and put in whole foods. That will just, that alone can be, can save your gut. And so don't try to put all these supplements in and think you're going to have a big change and you're still eating lots of processed foods like, you know, packaged chips or eating out at fast food. It's just, they're going to butt heads. So if you're going to put the investment into the supplement, change your diet as well. And in terms of any kind of uh, side effects that you want to be on the lookout for, of course, they're supplements. So when we're putting in new things, I don't ever re recommend putting in a lot of things at once. I always like to start pretty slowly. Um, but recognize that you know each of them have their different components. As I talked about with the probiotics, sometimes when people start those, they can have a little more gas or bloating symptom. So just back it off a little bit. There, this is a marathon. It is not a race. You're not going to be have a better gut because you powered through some of the symptoms. So that could be one thing. Um, with the Dophilus powder, kind of the same thing. People could have a little bit more burping, um, possibly a looser stool with Dophilus powder. Um, with the GI Revive and the GI Restore, not a lot of symptom that I've had many people have on that actually, but it, you know, watch for you. So you just take one scoop a day and I would start that alone and make sure your, it settles with your belly. Um, and so I think, and also with the digestive enzymes, um, you know, again, putting those in, understanding how it feels. If it feels fine, you're good to go. If people have a symptom, it's oftentimes maybe a little bit more burping because now they're digesting the food. And so you might feel that. You could also have a warm sensation in your stomach because there's a, some betaine in there, which is hydrochloric acid. Um, if that is disturbing or it feels uncomfortable, then you'll want to um, only take the enzymes with like bigger meals. So, you know, all of these supplements are going to be amazing. Um, they can be very supportive, but be mindful about what you're taking. And we say that all the time when we're talking about supplements because you don't want to be just taking a, a load of supplements. That, that's not the point of taking supplements. So I hope that that was helpful. If you're struggling with gut health, please um, do some research into these. And again, if you have questions about it, well, you're welcome to you know, make a comment down below and we'll be happy to answer. Thanks for watching.